Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain the hypertext transfer protocol. So, HTTP, which is what it stands for, is a protocol that defines how a web client requests web pages from web servers and defines how web servers transfer web pages to web clients. Now you probably don't understand a lot of this terminology like protocol or web client or web pages, but I'm going to explain that in the next slides. So we'll start with web server. So a web server is just a computer system, but it stores web pages. Now web servers run special software called web server software. An example is Apache. So just remember that it's just a computer system and it stores web pages and that it runs special software. Okay, so what are web pages? So we know that a web server stores web pages. <coughs> So a web page is a HTML document, and if you don't know what HTML is, it's basically a language which allows you to write web pages. So a web page, for instance, is like a Facebook web page. You go to Facebook, Facebook is a collection of web pages. Or, or Google, for instance, has like hundreds and thousands of web pages and whatnot. Basically, every website that you access through your browser is a web page. So, web pages are stored on web servers. And as I just mentioned, websites are a collection of web pages. And web pages reference objects. Okay, so what is an object? Well, an object is a file. So, like a JPEG, video clip, or an image. So, every time you go on a website and you see something, like an image that's an object or you see a jpeg that's an object well jpegs are images but you get what i mean so these objects are addressable by a single url and i'm trying to look at the code okay so we have if you look at the html code i know i don't know it might be a little too small to see but actually um it links an object it links a jpeg no png object png file image um on like halfway so that would be considered an object and a web page will reference several objects in fact loads of objects sometimes it's quite frequent that they um, reference loads of objects okay so we've understood what web server is and web pages and objects so what is a web client Okay, so a web client is anything that uses the internet is basically a web client. Why? Because devices that use the internet must interact with a web server. So we can say that a web client is something that interacts with a web server, or a device that interacts with a web server. Now, all web clients will request for web pages to web servers, and web servers will respond. So what does it mean to request and respond? So a request or to request a web page means that a web client, so for instance me on my laptop, asks a web server to get a web page for a particular website. Now we know that web, a website is just a collection of web pages and if we want to access a website we need to access its web page. Or a collection of its web pages so the example here is that me the web client on my my laptop requests from Facebook's web server its web pages and then it the web server gives a response it responds with the web page so web servers respond to requests this means that a web server will transfer the requested web page to the web client and the web client is just us so that was the basic overview of HTTP, but do continue watching if you want for some more, like some more insight or a deeper analysis. So HTTP uses TCP. If you don't know what TCP or perhaps UDP are, um, there are plenty of good videos on YouTube explaining that. So I'm just going to assume that you know this. So yeah, HTTP uses TCP. Um, so it's used when requesting and responding. Um, as you probably know, if you know what TCP is, it's it's more reliable. Error checking is implemented. 
and congestion and flow control exist. Um, if you're still watching this and you don't know what TCP is, it's basically a really reliable and good way of um, sending information across the internet back and forth. Um, it's just more reliable. Um, it makes sure that the data sent is correct. It's in, like it's it's integral, um, and that everything arrives correctly. Okay, so we know that it uses TCP now. So what's the connection type? Well, it can have several. Well, two connection types. One of them is called non-persistent. So this means that only one object can be transferred at a time over a connection. So when you make a request using TCP, an HTTP TCP request, then it can give you a non-persistent response. So this means that only one object can be transferred at a time. So for instance, um, like a file, it can only be transferred one at a time. And after that object is sent, the connection is then closed. So say you have seven objects, seven files, um, you will send one file at a time, you will create a connection between the web, well the web server will create a connection between itself and the web client, it will send one object first then that connection will close, then another connection will be made and send the next object and that process repeated until it doesn't need to send any more objects. Ah, I put an example, so the connection closes and then the next object is sent. Close this again and the process repeated until objects have been transferred. Okay so that was one type of connection so the next is persistent so unlike non-persistent where the connection um, closes persistent connections stay open until all objects have been passed through so it just doesn't close. Port 80 okay so in order for a web server to get requests it needs to listen out for these requests much like we have ears we need to listen to other other people's requests or questions so a web server will do this by listening on ports and the port that it listens to is port 80 so it will expect to receive requests or responses because um, web servers can also make requests and um, yeah that's pretty much it so just remember that web servers listen on, on port 80 oh so that's HTTP summed up um, if you have any questions do leave a comment if I've missed something out or if you found something that's wrong do leave a comment and um, that would be pretty useful or if you have anything insightful to say leave that down below if you found this video helpful um, give a like um, you can check out no what I plan to do is create another video so like a hands-on tutorial on how to actually make a request well when you use a browser you're always making requests but it's nice to see the actual request and intercept a request so hopefully um, I'm gonna make a video soon called HTTP a hands-on approach where you actually get to see what's um, going on um, so yeah, see you.